At its press conference to open the Mobile World Congress 2012, Ericsson talked about its continued technology and service leadership. President and CEO Hans Vestberg said the company had gained 6% market share since last year, so it's up to 38% market share in mobile network equipment. He talked about the network society and the three driving forces of mobility, broadband, and the cloud, and said that the magic really starts to happen when you combine all three forces. As an example of the combination of the three forces coming together, Vestberg presented an agreement with Western Union, the world's largest financial services company. Our goal with Ericsson is really quite simple. What we're really looking to do is actually be able to provide more financial inclusion at a more accelerated rate. And what Ericsson brings to the table is they already have relationships through their mobile operators with 1.6 billion subscribers who already have pre- and post-paid accounts. So customers are very used to topping up those accounts um, every day, um, topping up with their minutes for their accounts. So it's a natural evolution now for mobile operators to be able to offer those mobile wallets and consumers now will be able to upgrade, if you will, uh, to those wallets to allow them to send money, receive money, pay bills, start to make purchases in ways they never had before. Vesberg showed some of the new products and services being launched here at Mobile World Congress and then summed up by looking ahead into 2012. Innovation, collaboration, and change of business models is clear when it comes to this world right now. We're going to see focus on growth and efficiency from our customers, very much focus on OSS, BSS, in order to do a consumer experience. And I think we have a unique position with our, with our portfolio and acquisition of Telcordia there, as well as on our service portfolio. And finally, if it wasn't important before, it's going to be even more important now at least, and that's the high performance on the mobile broadband networks, because that's going to be business critical for us as people, for the entire businesses, but also for our society.